Ecosystems can be large and occur on a global scale. We call these biomes, and they have particular characteristics like their vegetation. We need to look at the distribution of these biomes and also investigate some of their characteristics. Generally speaking, most ecosystems follow an east-west path roughly parallel to lines of latitude. This is due to atmospheric circulation creating different climate patterns further north and south of the equator. Ocean currents, the distribution of land and sea, along with wind can lead to variations from a strict latitude-based pattern. There are a number of biomes we need to understand in terms of their location and their characteristics. Polar biomes are in the Arctic and Antarctic. Cold air will sink at both the North and South Poles, giving very low temperatures and dry conditions. The main polar regions are Antarctica and Greenland, where temperatures can fall below minus 50 degrees Celsius. Tundra is located from the Arctic Circle to approximately 60 to 70 degrees north. There's not much in the southern hemisphere due to little land existing at such latitudes. Tundra areas have low growing plants that have adapted to retain heat and moisture in the cold, dry and windy conditions. Tundra regions can be found in northern Europe and across areas of Canada. This fragile ecosystem can be easily damaged by human developments, such as oil exploitation. Many animals have adapted to survive the cold. Deciduous and coniferous forests can be found 50 to 60 degrees north of the equator, and the UK's natural vegetation is deciduous forest. Further north, in places like Sweden and Finland, you'll find coniferous forests because they are much better suited to the colder climates. The Mediterranean ecosystem can be found 40 to 45 degrees from the equator, in pockets both north and south. Countries around these Mediterranean-style areas, like California in the USA and parts of Australia, have hot and dry summers, with milder winters. Mediterranean vegetation includes olive trees and fruit trees. Temperate grassland ecosystems are found 30 to 40 degrees from the equator and away from coastal areas. These areas, like the North American prairies and the steppes of Eastern Europe, experience warm, dry summers and cold winters. Grasses thrive in these conditions and the land is mainly used for grazing herds of animals. Deserts are located around 30 degrees north and south of the equator and cover one-fifth of the world's land surface where we find high-pressure belts. Sinking air stops clouds from forming, giving very high temperatures but low nighttime temperatures and little rainfall. Plants and animals have to adapt to survive in these difficult conditions. Tropical grasslands lie between 15 and 30 degrees from the equator and the climate in these lower latitudes consists of wet and dry seasons. Large herds of animals will graze on these grasslands, attracting predators such as lions. Finally, there are tropical rainforests lying close to the equator. High temperatures and heavy rainfall is brought by low pressure belts and this creates ideal conditions for plants to grow. More than half the world's species of plants and animals live in this biome, with many medicines coming from the rainforest plants. Although biomes are large, it's important to remember that we can still have an adverse effect in these global-scale ecosystems.